What's going on guys, it's Adonis, and today I'm gonna to give you my review of the Jabra Sport Pace. The Jabra Sport Pace joins a plethora of headphones geared towards an active lifestyle. I've been using them exclusively for the past two weeks for our workouts, dancing, and daily use. Now while this isn't a comparison review, I will be using the Powerbeats 2 wireless headsets as a baseline since I have been using them for over a year. The design is definitely not original, nor the materials incredible. With that said, they are well built and the earbuds are comfortable. The big buttons on the control are easy to press, but at the same time, the position on the cord is not ideal. Because the cord comes out from the earpiece instead of the body of the headphones, the cord pulls the controls too far back and is in an awkward position. To be short, the sound is okay. Nothing to speak highly of, the sound just seems like it's lacking body and warmth. Sound is very subjective and some may like the sound. However, using the headphones in the gym to work out or to dance with, it just doesn't have the volume or the beefiness you need to keep you motivated to work. The microphone is pretty bad. Every time I was on a call, I always got the same response. Where are you? You sound so far away. My advice, don't make calls with it. It'll just lead to talking directly through the phone. Since these headphones were made to be using during workouts, I wanted to show how they would stay in your ear with a little head shake test. Now the Jabra Sport Pace does come with a fit clip to help keep the headphones tight. However, it was always uncomfortable for me and I lost it fairly quickly. So in this test, we will not be using that. And the Beats have something similar, but we won't be testing that with it either. They both performed about the same until I did the lean back shake test. This mimics positions like doing bench press or ab workouts or certain dance moves, and the jobber just wouldn't stay in in that test. Now keep in mind, a lot of this does have to do with your ear. It may work for your ears in some of these tests. This is just for me personally, so keep that in mind. Durability with the jobber Sport Pace has been great. No wear and tear from sweat or any malfunctions that I've actually experienced myself. Now there is an app which coaches you during workouts, and it is pretty awesome. However, it only works with specific headphones for certain workouts. The Sport Pace only seems to work with running workouts and not any other training workouts, which is a huge letdown for me since I'm not a runner. Finally, the battery life, which is splendid. It has the same quick charge as the Powerbeats Wireless 2s, which is 15 minutes for a full hour, which is great. And I can fully go for about a day and a half on a full battery without having to charge. And also when the battery's low, the headphones actually speak to you to tell you that the battery's low, so there's no need to constantly check your phone for the Bluetooth battery level. So in conclusion, yes, this isn't the perfect pair of headphones, which is an impossible task anyways, but for what Jabba was trying to achieve, it checks most of the boxes. And with the price of $99, it seems like the best Bluetooth headphones at that price. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, show me some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna wanna do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe. And if you're on mobile, hit the subscribe button in YouTube. All right guys, till next time. See you later. Thanks again for watching guys. If you guys like this video and wanna see more content like this, go ahead and click that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys wanna chat with me on social media, go ahead and like my Facebook page, Absolutely Tech, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Adonis underscore ATMLV. All right guys, till next time. See you later.